my whole class. So we'll start pretty simple though. Uh, my partner's gonna throw a jab. I'm gonna jab back. She slips. My partner throws a jab. I'm gonna jab, jab. Okay, so she's making an inside slip and an outside slip. She throws a jab, and then we go one, two, three. Okay, so single, double, triple. Okay, outside slip. Outside slip, inside slip. Outside, inside, outside again. Okay, go slow as your partner can find the time to rhythm of it. All right, questions? Whoa, three. Whoa, we're gonna add counters to it. We're gonna add three different sets of counters. This will be the first set. First set is gonna be punch counters. So that single is a cross counter. The double is gonna be a lead hook counter. I've gotta catch that with the same hand. The triple is gonna be a rear uppercut. Okay. So it's single, double, triple. One more time slowly. Single, slip, throw the cross. Double, slip, slip, lead hook. Triple, slip, 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 rear uppercut. Remember to move your feet after each one. Questions? Up three. Keep in mind is it, as a general rule, inside slips are, are super risky. Um, so the the point of this drill is just to get you moving your head and having counter options, no matter where your weight shifts and what side your head ends up on. So I may not be when, when Amber throws a double jab, for example, I, I may not go this way necessarily. It may be jab cross, and I'm slipping that jab cross. Okay, so I'm just giving points of reference. If I were going to go inside slip here to here, I would probably do it behind something as opposed to just slipping my head and then looking to counter. I'd probably try to get something off at the same time, whether that was a level change or tackle or whatever it's gonna be, okay? Uh, that said, we wanna have as many counter options as we can based off of kind of what our game is, what the other person that, that we're working with is inclined to do, those kind of things. So now we'll look at counters on the low line. So she jabs, single counter, Rear leg kick. Jab, double, inside leg. Jab, triple, body hit. Okay. And look, it can be whatever, all right? It's just giving you ideas and things to think about. Okay. So now counters on the low line. Um, on that last one, I'm just building the wall and catch. All right? Questions? Oh, three. Woo! Take the last one and kind of put together a little bit. Um, any, she, she can pick where she's, whether she's going to punch counter or kick counter, but whichever one she does, she has to finish with the opposite. So if she punch counter, she has to finish with a kick. If she kick counter, she has to finish with a punch. All right? So if we go single, I've got to be ready as the, the mitt holder to catch that punch, and she's got to put a kick on that. Any kick, okay? If she counters with a kick, punch has got to come behind that, okay? So she's going to add one or the other based on which one she starts with, all right? Mitt holders, you're going to have to play a little bit. Be ready to catch kicks um, and punches, all right? It's going to be light and slow, again, it's just learning to put things together, okay? So, before we kind of tie it all together. So we've got punch counters, kick counters, punch and kick counters, and now we'll put in takedown counters. So single, you're gonna enter for the double leg. Double, you're gonna enter for the blast double. Triple, so you're gonna enter for a high post and, and ankle pick. Single 
One more time, slowly. Same draw. She enters for the double. Okay, if you can't get the double, take the single. Just remember where your head needs to, to be or, or get low. Double. So for the blast double, she's gonna take her tiny little head <laughs> and put it on my sternum. Boom. And then she's gonna take both hands to my knees. Okay? And to finish, it's a nasty hard finish, all right? Don't do that. Triple. One, two, three. She's gonna post, get me my weight back, and then pick that near ankle. Questions? All three. Uh, we're gonna go both sides of gloves because this side is gonna be kind of defending a little bit. Now she can pick any of those as counters. Okay, so she can go punch counter, she can go kick counter, she can go uh, take down counter. Okay, so it's not prescribed. The only thing that's gonna be prescribed, sort of, is I'm gonna tell her if it's single, double, triple, but we're not gonna necessarily go in order. Okay, so if, if I say double, triple, Single. Okay, so she can pick her counter based off of everything we've done so far in the class. And on my side, I'm gonna try to focus a little bit more on, on defending. On the tackle, so I'm just gonna kind of let them have it. Um, and I'm only really defending so I don't get punched or kicked in the face. Okay, and then, then the drill is more for the, the uh, partner than it is for me. Try to move around. Um, so, so don't just stand right in front of them, try to move a little bit, and again, mix it up. So don't just go single, double, triple. Make them kind of work through each one without any sort of pattern to it. What? Just one count? Uh, yeah. All right. I'll switch. Yeah. All three.